Yellow Spinner. So we've got hundreds of tricks in our beloved hobby, which is actually more than just a hobby. Once you are into pen spinning, it keeps you hooked for life. And during all that time you can keep getting better, learning new tricks and moves. Some tricks you pick up and use all the time in your freestyles, while others you just put on the back of your mind and hardly revisit. So today I will show you 5 easy tricks that are super rare in pen spinning. Some of them are totally pointless and can barely qualify as tricks. I'm looking at you. Sisic and others have been unfairly forgotten by pen spinners. Either way, they are much better than an awful abomination also known as charged thumb flap. This <gasps> hellish creation spreading through our community like a plague. You are disgusting. You suck, you suck, you suck. All right, now the first trick, Invisible Sonic. It feels more like a magic trick than a pen spinning move. We do a normal Sonic, holding the pen by the grip, and when it is on the outside of your hand, pinch the grip between your index and middle fingers and cover it up with a middle. And the trick with a viper in slot 1-3, bending your middle finger. The smaller mod you use, the easier it is to fool a naive viewer, although a lot depends on the angle they watch your hand from. Is there any practical use of this trick? I don't think so. Invisible Sonic will slow down the flow if you use it in the middle of a combo. And as a finisher it looks kind of silly. But as a standalone trick uh, this Sonic works as a neat uh, magic trick and is easy to learn quickly. Great for pen spinners of any skill level. Uh, the next trick, if you can even call it that, can be done by anyone, even the, someone who knows nothing about pen spinning and thinks a pen mod is a device for vaping. Sisik. Who came up with that name? And what does it have to do with the C? What was this trick made for? And the main question, why am I talking about it in my video? The answers to these questions will forever be a mystery to humankind. We just have to accept that this trick exists in our reality. At least, unlike charge thumb flap, it doesn't spread chaos. It's just a useless thing you can learn right away. Just by looking at it once and check out another pen spinning move in your list. Let's move on from those boring, useless tricks. Up next is a Levitator, a much more appropriately named trick. It really does look like the pen mod is defying gravity, lifting up with a slight, almost invisible hand motion. Even though you can master it within just an hour maximum, even though there are two ways to perform it in different situations, it is nearly impossible to see it in combos. The only pen spinner I've seen do Levitator was an anime girl. I broke down her combo a year and a half ago, and I already liked this trick back then. So, as I already said, there are at least two ways to do Levitator. Maybe there are more, I've only seen two. The first way is to use it when your mod is between your index finger and the thumb. First you need to master flicking the mod out of the slot with your index finger. The mod will fly off to the side, which is of course not something we want. We want to shoot the mod up vertically, so we don't end up running around the room trying to catch it. Therefore, add a gentle upward motion with your hand to throw the pen mod. The thumb also actually helps with the motion, and with enough practice you can do levitator with a very subtle mo movement. Now another way to do this trick as seen in the anime's girl video. We launch the mod into the air without hand movement, just like flipping the coin with a thumb flick. To let it rotate in the air you should initially place it above the thumb, closer to the grip. The movement is quite sharp, giving you less control over the pen mods of flight, so it might take you a bit longer to master this variation. But either way it probably won't take you more than an hour. And Voila, you've got two awesome tricks to enhance your freestyles. Arm roll. This trick is used much more than the previous three, but to me it rarely doesn't ruin a combo. Arm roll almost always looks forced, unnecessary and out of place. It is difficult to fit it naturally into a freestyle, because it only links well with the palm spin. Anything else looks like stopping the flow, just to suddenly roll the pen on your arm for no apparent reason. I wouldn't say I hate arm roll just like a charge thumb flap or even see sick. It has its place, especially if your style involves a lot of forearm use, like hand busts, pumpkins, stuff like that. Are there any details and tips for learning this trick? It is pretty straightforward. Any tips would be like, duh. So I decided not to play Captain Obvious this time, and will let you figure out arm roll on your own. Back tap. Now this trick I like. It is sort of a top spin trick where the pen spins on your hand without moving on your fingers. Or at least it looks that way. 
Mastering back tap might take you longer than you'd hope, but it can be a great addition to your freestyles. I lay the pen between your index and the middle fingers so that the pen's center of gravity is on the middle knuckles. I bend my fingers slightly to decrease the contact area, making it easier for the pen to rotate on the fingers. Then I move my hand inward, causing the pen to spin, and try to control its movement by slightly moving fingers. You have to learn to move your hand sharply enough for the pen to make at least one turn but not too hard, otherwise you will lose control and mod will fall off your hand. You can do the trick in both ways, normal and reversed versions, and if you really perfect this move, you can combine it with various top spins, or for example with the invisible Sonic from the start of this video, just saying. Well, I wish you good luck in your pen spinning journey, may they still be with you. Bye.